What's going on, everybody? Fan side, it's Peter Dewey here, and I am joined today by Boban Marjanovic and Tobias Harris on behalf of Goldfish. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. How are you doing today? Good. Thank you very much. And I like because how you pronounce my last name. It's amazing. Ooh, you did you did good. Thank you. <laughs> so, guys, I appreciate you joining me on behalf of Goldfish. We're going to get into that campaign in a second. But I got to ask first, because obviously you've played together on three teams, uh, been traded twice together in your careers. Can you just talk to me a little bit about your friendship, how it kind of happened and how it's grown over the years? Uh, Toby, can I start this one? Yeah, you got it. Okay. Look, this is this is this is like friendship what we have, and they, we have the question like this is like the first first friendship, like the best friendship so far in NBA. Like hey, my thoughts, and as we respect everybody, but you know, like this is how we start. The first one we start in Detroit. I know we play we play pickup before 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 training camp, and I was like, and Toby didn't want to pass me the ball, and I was like, Toby, pass me the ball, and he was like, oh, he was not up and blah 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 blah, and he was in the locker room, and I, and I look at him and it's like, Toby, I don't like you. And I, 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 I was just honest. And he was like, what? <laughs> and from that moment, because I think because we're honest to each other, and this is like, this is the thing when we when we start, he figured out like, okay, I'm I'm missing something. And I was like, I'm missing something. And that time we become like, we become friends. And, and it was all over the news. That time we figured out we have something. And in that moment we get traded to Clippers. And from that time, we start, we start, we start like we do Bobby and Toby show. We start to play basketball together, and we play really good. By the way, Tobias really killed it. I was there too, very good. By the way, too. We go in Philadelphia. We didn't have luck to get that ring because like Kawhi Leonard scored a three point shot from the corner. But hey, I, I, I looking forward for next one. And, and this is how we build our friendship to the to the years, to the teams, and to the all this tough stuff. Well, you did very good given our uh, life story of a friendship. You know, he, he he touched on everything, and it's kind of what has grown and developed our friendship from being together on three different teams, but then to also now not being teammates together, but still always checking up on each other. Now here we are teaming back up with Goldfish. Uh, it's back to school season. And our goal is to bring smiles to the college experiences. And uh, this this new campaign, we are, like, extremely excited about. Every one we do, we always say, oh, this is the best one. What, what would you say you guys are most excited for about this campaign compared to all the ones you've done with Goldfish? This time we separated, and it was like, oh, I'm, I'm, miss, I'm missing my guy to be with me. We give away on uh, September 13th, we give away, we give away 10 uh, bowling bags. And uh, you need to go to buy us. What site do you need to do? What website do you need um, to do? Yeah, for for September September thirteenth, uh, for fans if they if they head to gold goldfishbowbombag dot com, uh, they can enter for a chance to win the XL bow bomb bag. Um, and th this is like I think one of the coolest things about this whole campaign because we started in twenty twenty one with going for the handful, right? And then you know that that evolved into where we're at now and, you know, having this giveaway, picking 10 lucky, lucky fans, you know, when we started with go for the handful, we figured out that Bobby could fit, you know, 301 goldfish on his hands, right. On his hand. And, um, you know, for now here we are. And, uh, you know, this bag contains 2000 goldfish. So that's enough for a perfect semester of full of snacking. And um, this is going to be just an awesome thing. And Bobby gets to select 10 people. And hopefully he, I mean, I've already arranged that he give me 10 bags as well. And I'm able to do it <laughs> and pick some fans. So we're, we're excited for this whole thing. Bobby, I want to talk a little basketball too. Um, I know last year you played with the the Houston Rockets, uh, played a young team, a lot of young, talented guys. Um Playing with them, what did you take away from from that team, and who are some of the young guys you're really looking forward to thinking can build uh, uh, going forward in their careers? I think we have a lot of we have a lot of talented guys, and they they're so young and they're still learning, and they're very good. Like you know, like when you see them on the practice, they're like, you know, they're so fast, they're so jumping high, they're so amazing. They get and what is what is much important, like. Uh, they're good people. They have good heart, and um, like to be around them, like especially you know, like try, like basically, like it's it looks so cool. Like you have diamond 
you have diamond and you need just to put on the right place and this is and this is it and and uh the guys do a very good job like all all everybody their stuff and uh, they put them on right on right way and they they like it they love it they, they they respect me of course like teammate they love me like a teammate and they're like a friend of course and what what is so cool looking for looking forward to come back and uh, i'm so happy to have to have him uh because uh, he was my he was my assist coach when i was in spurs and now we work to we have a wonderful wonderful time working together now we're back again he he is amazing he is like looking forward to to work with him again and so happy for that that's awesome and just talking about this uh a lot of young guys obviously awesome rookie class coming into the nba with victor webanyama this year scoot henderson some of these guys is there anybody you're most excited to compete against or most excited to see on the floor this year i'm like look i'm so excited for everything like, i respect i respect every 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 athlete like never mind if he played basketball, uh, golf, uh, soccer, football, whatever. I respect everybody because we work hard. We work. We work so hard to to come here where we at right now. And I think like uh, looking forward, looking forward to play against all these guys. And it's it's so amazing to have to have a one more one more tall guy almost my size like me uh, like me in the league and he moves super cool i'm looking forward to to see him to see him play in in live and of course watching him to play to play on the games awesome uh tobias i got a, a football question for you cuz i was doing a deep dive a little bit when i was me, football. i was uh i was researching today uh going on your twitter trying to figure out what your football fandom is cuz i know you're a new york guy but you play in philly right now um, I thought it was Giants, but I saw some Jets tweets in there. So I, I was I was wondering to confirm with you how you're feeling uh, through week one this season. <laughs> yeah, that's that's funny you say that because people always ask me, like, well, what, what type of football fan are you? And I'm like, man, I'm, I'm like a little football groupie. Like, you know, at one point I was – I just randomly picked the Jets. But after seeing what the Giants did yesterday, yeah, if I'm from New York, I am a Jet fan, right? Like, um. Uh, but no, I kind of just, you know, I, I, I root for kind of like where I'm at. So like when I'm in Philly, I'll go to the Eagles games and and whatnot. So, but like overall, I'm just like, I'm more of a player fan than anything. Like I, I love Lamar Jackson, um, but I don't have like a specific team for real. So, but that's funny that you found those because I, I, would, I, would, I would tell people, they'd be like, Yo, uh, you're from New York. Are you a Jets fan or a Giants fan? And like, I'll just be like, it depends how the year's gone. Like, I like ask me like if one of the teams is in the playoffs, then I'll tell you. You know, so I'm like, I'm kind of an open fan. <laughs> That's fair. I, I respect that. And then being in Philly, just the energy with the Eagles last year. I mean, that must have been crazy being in the city with them making the Super Bowl, and then obviously you guys having a great year too. Yeah. No. I mean, um, you know that. Like obviously it's Philly, so it's sports town, and um, now the the Eagles were were rolling last year. And I, I think you know obviously um, they got a they got a great team with with great experience now, and and they and they've been there right. They've been to the Super Bowl. They kind of understand what it takes. So I'm excited to see them have an amazing year this year as well. That's awesome. I got one more one more question for you guys. I know you've played together at a bunch of different spots. Is there any hope at some point in your NBA careers you guys get to reunite before they're before they're done? Yeah, I hope so. For real. Yes, like, me too. Me too. Yeah. Like I, I is, hope we're back together at some point in time. Is that is, is that even a question? This is yes. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Sweet. Guys, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for joining me. Good luck this NBA season. Good luck with the Goldfish campaign. Um, really appreciate it again. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you That's very all much. About coming up here.